So today we're going to be going over day three of SDCC Funko Pop reveals and also, guys, stop pre-ordering Comic-Con Pops on eBay, please. Let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and I hope you're enjoying your weekend. So today we are now three days into SDCC 2023 Funko Pop reveals. And with that in mind, we do have our question of the day, which is... How are you guys feeling about the SDCC reveal so far? Are you loving them? Are you hating them? Do you think it's kind of lackluster this year? Do you like that they're actually releasing only a few every single day? Or would you prefer that they do it all in one day like they've done in the past? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the event this year so far. Okay, so I do want to apologize in advance for so many SDCC related videos this week. There's just so much news happening and updates and new exclusives and everybody's asking me a million questions that I figured I would kind of dedicate this week to SDCC. So just so you know, over the next couple days, there might be a few more videos relating to this topic, but I'm also gonna try to slip in a Funko Pop hunt and other Funko News videos and hopefully some more fun stuff. Now, if you are enjoying the videos lately, I would really appreciate it if you left a like down below and subscribe and click the notification bell if you're new here. Okay, so enough self-promotion for myself. Let's jump into the nitty gritty details. So first up, let's go over everything Funko revealed today. One of the first reveals today was Jimi Hendrix and he also had a black light variation there. Now it is unclear right now if this one is going to be some kind of chase situation or if it's just another exclusive added to the event, we'll see what happens. What's very funny about this pop is if you really look at it, it looks a lot like Prince. I was reading the comments and everybody's like, that looks like Prince. And I really looked at it, I was like, that does really look like Prince. <laughs> now I do think Jimi Hendrix is really cool. However, I just don't know if this really screams Comic-Con exclusive in my opinion, at least. We've also had so many Jimi Hendrix pops in the past already. I figured maybe we could move on to somebody else. Next, we had a couple DC reveals. We actually had Talia al Ghul officially announced here. This is actually one of the ones that I'm very excited about, but also doesn't really scream Comic-Con, honestly. And the other two DC pops announced today was Trigon and The Question. I think The Question was definitely a very unique choice. Honestly, I'd never even heard of this character outside of this new Funko Pop now, so definitely cool to learn more about that. Um, and Trigon, I would like to pick up next to my Raven, but just even for DC, I, I think they're cool announcements, but I don't think it's really wowed anybody, you know? Like, I, I think they're really nice pickups, but you could also look at these and be like, hey... You know, I, that could be a Walmart exclusive or a GameStop exclusive, you know? Now, the final thing we had today was actually Bugs Bunny, and this is Bugs Bunny as Fred Flintstone. That was actually kind of unique, I'm not gonna lie. I never even realized that Looney Tunes and the Flintstones even ever had a collaboration, so I thought that was kind of cool, and it, it's a pretty cool addition to the, um, like, Looney Tunes line. Now, unfortunately, that was everything for today, seemingly. They announced Bugs Bunny and then just went silent. They didn't even say that they were done for the day. They just haven't posted in a couple hours. So everybody assumed, hey, they're done, I guess. And like, I, I just not loving these five to six pop announcements every single day. It's kind of almost just annoying and it feels very, very dragged on at this point. We're three days in and we've barely even seen half of what they have to offer. I'm just like, oh my God, this, it's such a long week for SDCC reveals. And honestly, the worst part about it is that so many people are just not happy with the reveal so far. So it's like the fact that it's also being dragged on, it's just upsetting a lot of fans. And honestly, I would be lying if I didn't say I was in kind of agreement with that, that I felt like this year is definitely lacking, even though there are a couple things I would like to pick up. Okay, so moving on, I do have a couple other updates I did want to share with you guys. So first up, we actually have another leaked exclusive and it does look to be shared with FYE and that is the Wicket from Star Wars. So this is just Wicket with Slingshot and I feel like it's very similar to one of the commons we got in the past. I, I already saw Star Wars fans <laughs> reactions to this one on the different news pages that posted it. They, they are not happy. I, I feel like that is almost it for Star Wars because we have the young Leia, the Darth Vader uh, Funko leader Soda, and this Wicket. I think that might be it, unfortunately, for Star Wars, and that is just terrible. <laughs> so in the next two days, unless they really surprise us with something crazy for Star Wars, they, they definitely got the short in the stick this time around. Now, another update we do actually have, sharing from Dish Trackers on Instagram, we do actually know now that the Powerpuff Girls 3-pack is actually limited to a thousand pieces, and that was like one of the ones that a lot of people were actually excited about when it was announced, and now only a thousand people are able to get it. Now, I'm not saying that's not a good thing that they're having LE pieces at Comic-Con. I love the fact that it's a thousand pieces. It just also makes it significantly hard for every fan that wanted this now. But 
that's the name of the game. And one more update for you guys on the two anime exclusives announced so far. The Tanjiro and Rokodaki 2 pack will be shared with Box Lunch, and the Roger cover will be shared with Funko. I, I think we all kind of expected that lately. It seems like a lot of the One Piece and like um, like the bigger exclusives end up going to the Funko shop. At least the two pack though is going to Box Lunch. So the shared sticker, relatively easy to get. Box Lunch exclusives are pretty easy. Uh, that Roger though, that that is just terrible. That could really be another like useless kid situation if they do not load a lot of stock. Oh man, I it's kind of funny because I wanted that one, but. If I didn't get it, it's not the end of the world. I mostly want it just because it has the bounty poster in the background. At the end of the day, we definitely didn't need another Roger Pop because we already have the Funko Shop one and then the Chase version of that as well. Again, the main thing that makes it unique is that bounty poster. So those were pretty much all the updates that we have for SDCC 2023 so far. Now I wanna jump into the fact that there's been a lot of pre-orders on eBay of these set exclusives that have been announced. Now. I just, I just want to talk about this really quick. I'm, I'm going to do my best not to drag it on too much. I've talked about this many times in the past. The reason why you should not be pre-ordering exclusives. And actually, let me, let me give you an example of what exactly I'm talking about first. So check this out. On eBay sales history, if you just type in SDCC 2023 Funko Pop, you can look at eBay sales and you will see people are paying for the official sticker, $175 for the two-pack, $190, the Roger official sticker at $240, the three-pack at $150, uh, the mascot $70, the question $40, again, another slide here, somebody paid $300 for the official sticker Roger, um, multiple of these three-packs for the Powerpuff Girls sold, another $180 sale for the two-pack for Demon Slayer. Now, what you guys got to understand is the fact that everybody doing pre-orders on these cannot guarantee that they will actually get this for you. That's usually why they will have in their description, oh, if I'm not able to secure it, I'll cancel your order, you'll get a refund. And another great point is that all the previous cons have had official sticker issues where sometimes the stock is arriving with only shared stickers and that's what Funko's selling at it. There's also sticker swaps happening at the booth. And another thing I can tell you is that literally within the last week, that's when SDCC opened up uh, the fact that you can put in your credits to try to get into the Funko booth in their little lottery and be randomly selected. Nobody's even been selected yet and people are buying these pre-orders. That doesn't even make any sense to me. Another crazy thing that happens very often with these pre-order sellers is the fact that if the item is going for even more than they sold it to you for, they'll just claim they didn't get it and then relist it and sell it for more. I've seen it happen many times. So I promise you there are just multiple issues with pre-ordering con pops every single year and I would just advise against it. At the end of the day, it is your money. I want you guys to spend your money how you want to. If you want to pre-order it, go for it. I'm just here offering advice because I've been doing this a long time. I've been collecting a lot of time and I've seen a lot of things. Hey guys, editing Skittle Rampage here. One more thought I actually wanted to add into this video. This kind of pertains to anybody who is maybe not going to the Comic Con or you guys collect official stickers and you'll be shopping online this year. Year. personally I would wait to see what happens at the event because again like I mentioned earlier in the video there have been so many sticker complications and low stock complications at these events that it has definitely affected different prices on different pops so I I would recommend waiting to see what happens at the event because knowing Funko there might be some issues with the stock this time around as well like all the previous events in the last like two years and honestly you're always going to want to wait until a market fully settles because if you buy when something first comes out that's when everybody's going to be charging a premium if you wait a couple weeks everything's going to start going down once everybody starts undercutting each other but again that's just some advice I can give you if you're looking for the official sticker at the end of the day, you're gonna do whatever you wanna do. All right guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. To end off the video, I do wanna say a big shout out to all the amazing Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are rock for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys wanna check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 18,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.